Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content on this channel as of late. Uh, just excuse me if my voice is lower just a little bit. Um, family is asleep, so I'm trying to not disturb them. Um, uh, I know the content has been kind of iffy lately. Um, as I said, uh, I'm just getting out of quarantine. Uh, my test results just came back negative, so I'm good to go. Um, so you will be seeing some uh, some other content speed up in a little bit here, hopefully this week. Um, I'm hoping to see Elvis this weekend, so I will be doing a reaction to that. Um, maybe I'll check out Lightyear. I heard some okay things about it. So, um, so just excuse me if the videos are kind of like, you know, kind of just coming later than usual. Um, but I wanted to do this video though, because I actually think that there's a, uh, some interesting things to discuss, and that is, of course, with the Planet of the Apes franchise, um, with the upcoming fourth installment in the rebooted series. Um, I am a huge fan of this of the series. I love, love what they've done with this uh, trilogy. Um, I think that all of them just get progressively better, which is a very rare thing to say about a trilogy. Um, I think Rise is good, um, I think Dawn is even better, and I think War is just the best. Um, I, like, what gets to me the most about these movies is that they, they can hold such complexities within such a big budget, you know? Like, these are considered, like, blockbusters and tentpole type projects, and yet they still hold some very meaningful and some very insightful um, ideas, especially in war, you know, it's very much like a psychological, uh, drama, um, and Dawn, you know, it's about, like, you know, agendas and, you know, survival, and Rise is obviously about, you know, uh, rebellion and all this stuff. It's just very fascinating that, you know, they can package these ideas, um, it's similar to, like, my thoughts on, like, Pixar, it's, like, it's, it's incredible how they can, like, package such dense and adult-oriented themes into these into these types of movies um like it, it's surprising to me you know especially seeing the landscape of what what mainstream media has to offer it's very surprising and very very uh, very much welcomed just to see a movie that actually you know or to see a trilogy of movies that are going to be addressing um meaningful stuff and actually look for emotional uh depths and they work. I think Caesar is just one of the most well-written characters in the past recent years. I just, I love, love this character. I think that he has such a relatable quality to him and his nobility and the way that he progresses throughout each film. Like we literally see him as a baby to his death, you know, it's, you know, it's a complete story. And, um, I think that Andy Serkis just brings him to life just brilliantly. Um, so, and I obsess over it. I have the uh, all three of them on Blu-ray, and I just, you know, if anyone wants to talk about this world, I mean, I'm more than welcome to talk about it. It is just, it's just such a fascinating world to me. I love the, the world that Matt Reeves, mostly Matt Reeves, I know Rupert, Rupert Wyatt, directed the first film, but mostly Matt Reeves is what really gave this series its essence and really gave it the emotional hit that Rise kind of kind of hit on a little bit. So, um, so, um, it, it seems that Disney now wants to do more with this franchise. They actually had made a comment recently about, um, the fourth film, uh, in that they might be thinking about doing an, another trilogy of films which I don't know how to feel about that, but, you know, I say just focus on one film first, see how that does, and then just see if you wanted to green light another one, like they did with the first trilogy, you know, because they didn't know if Rise was going to make any money or not because of the, of the, of how Tim Burton's did, and just in general with the reception of Planet of the Apes, which is fairly mixed, they didn't know, so that's why they didn't greenlight anything. And I get it, they have the success to, to greenlight such things that they want to. Um, but I just think just, you know, 
see how you got there versus, you know, seeing what you have, you know. Um, so, um, so, so they're, they're looking to do a four film and uh, Matt Reeves is not going to be directing it. Um, it's going to be Wes Ball, who is most known for the Maze Runner movies, which I have not seen, but I've heard are okay. I've seen bits of the first one and I think it was pretty forgettable. I don't, I literally can't remember anything about it. Just, I remember Dylan O'Brien running through one part where the maze was like closing in on him. That's it. That's all I re really remember from it. So, um, but being a huge fan of the series, I love the series. Um, obviously I am, I, I am interested to see what they do with a fourth film because even though it does end pretty definitely for Caesar, the world that they established in Planet of the Apes has a lot to explore, and particularly with one, uh, uh, with one uh, storyline, uh, which I believe they should do for the fourth film, which is why I want to do this video. I want to talk about. I don't usually do this sort of thing, but just because I'm, I'm just such a big, big fan of this particular series, I. I kind of want to give my two cents as to what I believe they should do for the fourth film. Um, and some of the stuff I believe they will do, and then some of the stuff I just, I'm just really hoping that they do. So it's just five things. So um, I'm just going to go through them real quick here. And I feel like some of them are going to be obvious. Um, like my first point, the first thing that I think that they should do, Cornelius needs to be the main character. Caesar's son obviously needs to be the main character. I don't know, because they said that this is going to be a direct sequel to War, from War for the Planet of the Apes, so I, I don't know what else, what other direction you can go besides just Cornelius' story, you know? Um, and within that, you know, I want Cornelius to be the main character, but within that point, I also want him to be distinct. I don't want him to be another Caesar, you know? I don't want to see the same story play out again. You know, I want this to be, like, almost the polar opposite to Caesar, because Caesar came from, um, you know, a life with humanity and, you know, endured loss and suffering and betrayal, you know. Some of these qualities will obviously will spill over to Cornelius, but I want to see him in a much different light. And he, well, he obviously will be because he's going to be living strictly with apes. So I want to see his perspective be different from that of Caesar's, you know. I want it because Caesar has that benefit of living in both worlds. Cornelius only gets to live with the apes. So I want to see how that factors into his perspective when he gets introduced to humans. Um, so, so, yeah. And my second point with Cornelius, and I feel that... It's inevitable to happen, but I don't want it to happen so soon. I don't want him to be the leader yet. You know, obviously someone else is going to be the leader because if you look at the timeline, you know, for War of the Planet of the Apes, uh, Cornelius is a baby, so they're not going to have him be the leader, even if it's, you know, even if it is, if he is to inherit that throne, you know, it is, you know, he's not of age. You know, I'm pretty sure they have rules for that within the society. Um, so... Someone else is going to take up, take it up. I don't know who. Probably a new character. I don't think that they should give it to any uh, 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 old characters. Like I don't see. I mean, Rocket maybe, but I don't. I don't think that they will go down that path. I feel like he's more of a soldier than than anything. Uh, Maurice is not. I think Maurice is just going to be the mentor figure for Cornelius. Um, kind of playing off another a similar dynamic to that of Caesar, um, to that to Caesar and Maurice, um, but I want him to eventually inherit the throne because it's his blood, right? You know, it's his technically it is his, um, but I don't want him to get it just yet. I want him to kind of basically be like, like Simba in a way, you know, from the Lion King. Just you know, he kind of is doing his own thing, and then eventually he has to fight for the throne at some point, you know, that kind of dynamic. And speaking with that, um, I want to also get to my, uh, like, you know, talking about the Lion King, you know, you when Simba, you're also talking about Scar, so you're talking about, you know, a particular type of ruler, a dictator, you know, that kind of thing. 
translates to my third point, which is I want to see a focus on government and society, particularly ape government and society. This and this would be a a proper step step in the right direction because the, if we, when we get to the original Planet of the Apes, I know that these movies are not meant to connect to that movie, but it eventually gets to that place. Um, if you watch the original Planet of the Apes, it was all about government and all about uh, like different agenda. I'm looking at my phone again, by the way, for notes. Um, but it's all about like agendas and corruption and uh, clans and also just you know tr uh, mistreatment, you know. Um, and I want that to be addressed here in this one. I want to see um, how this government operates, and maybe the leader is corrupt. Maybe he is just you know has this this particular view on humans or just has become cynical, you know, to that of humans. Um, and um, uh, uh, that leads to my fourth point, which is obviously humans should be in the movie, but not as much as they usually have been, you know, because the problem I think with all the Planet of the Ace movies that people will agree with me on is the humans. I don't think that they're that interesting. Um, I think the most interesting was probably Woody Harrelson because I like the way that they built his character up and just the 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 the, the situation that he is planted in. I feel is more more interesting to play versus James Franco and uh, Jason Clark. So um, so I also think performance wise it was way better. So. Um, so the humans should be in there, but I don't think that they should have big parts, just small parts, significant, but small parts. Um, and the reason for that, obviously, is, be, is that Cornelius needs to interact with a human. He needs to have that, that bond so that he may understand why his father did the things that he that he did, you know. You know, because obviously Cornelius is going to be going through a much a different path than Caesar's. You know, he's going to have to interact with interact with humans at some point and through that have to you know uh you know have to uh have to like perhaps you know like understand more of what his father's legacy means and you know really what his father was trying to do um as the leader and through that perhaps you know take over you know that's what i think they might do as a story um but you know it, it, it's a, just a just an idea and the last point obviously in my opinion i feel like andy circus should play cornelius i think that they, i know that people have been saying that for a while but i think that that's just a really really good idea because firstly andy circus has already proved that he can do this type of performance no problem he is just ma a master at it i mean just look at his work as caesar it is brilliant um and also, for, I think that'd just be a cool acting challenge, you know? Like, yeah, you first played the father, and now you get to play the son. And it falls in line with the series, you know? Because the original Planet of the Apes, I forget the actor's name, Roddy McDowell? No, I don't know. Maybe that's his name, I don't know. Um, but he also played father and son in the original Planet of the Apes series. So it's not like it's out of the question. It's It's been done before. Um, so, and, you know, with... with uh, the type of visual effects work that we're, ha we're having with these types of movies, I, I don't think that it's out of the question if Andy Serkis was to play that part. Um, but I seeing as to where they're probably going to take it, it's probably going to be a little bit of a younger part. Um, they, they already said that they're looking for a new actor, so, so I kind of get it. Because, you know, I feel like if we're going to get introduced to Cornelius, in the first movie, it's he's probably going to be, like, by human standards, like, 18, 19, you know, like, fairly young. So, because, um, again, they're trying to, they're saying that they're looking at maybe doing a trilogy, so it makes sense if we're following Cornelius a little bit younger, you know, um, versus, you know, like, him being much older, you know. So, oh, excuse me. Oh, getting tired. Um, but I would love to see Andy Serkis play it though, because I think that he can do, I think, I think that just, the idea itself just sounds really, really cool, but I understand that it's probably not possible given the circumstances narratively, but here's to hoping.
the VFX, you can do a lot of things with it, so maybe there is a way to have Andy Serkis play this role, but, you know, I would not be surprised if that wasn't the case, so. But yeah, those are my thoughts. So that's what I want to see out of the plan, in Plan of the Apes 4. I want to see Cornelius as the lead. I want him to be different than Caesar, like maybe more, uh, more ignorant, you know, towards humans and eventually has to eventually will meet a human realize what the, the what what the, the realize that they're very similar in nature you know if maybe starts to like befriend a human um don't do the the uh, tim burton thing and have him kiss a human or anything like that you know nothing weird like that but you know obviously creating a certain bond and through that he'll be able to see how corrupt the current government system is and then maybe have a rebellion or something, you know, that kind of dynamic, you know? Um, and I want to see a, a focus on government and society in this because I'm pretty sure this is going to take like a year, a decade or so later after the, after the original film, they say it's going to be a direct uh, sequel, but I, it's going to be like a couple of years, you know, later. Um, so, um, so I want to see, you know, how this new government is full is how it's folded and, how they ended up, how we got to this new leader and, you know, maybe Maurice and, and Rocket and all those players, maybe they're like, you know, kind of outcast, you know, they're like, you know, maybe they're like pushed aside, you know, um, so, and then maybe like you, we see like, like, like all sorts of like, uh, followers, you know, we have still Kobo's followers and then we have so-and-so's followers, you know, like all these conflicting agendas. I think it would just be really, really interesting if they went in that direction. And it would be in line, you know, with the Planet of the Apes series, because that's what I, I said what the first film was mostly about. It was about, you know, government and uh, treatment, treatment uh, towards individuals, you know. There's a lot of undertones, you know, politically speaking. Um, so, um, so, yeah, I, I'm really excited for Planet of the Apes 4. I, I want to... I, I hope that they do it justice. I, 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 I have my reservations with West Ball behind it, um, just because I was I just don't think he has the credits to back it up. But again, I have not seen the Maze Runner series, so I cannot say. I never, I have vivid memories of the first one, but, um, but yeah, it's just the trilogy is so good. Just don't screw up the fourth one, please. So. We'll see. Um, yeah, just I hope that they that Disney doesn't, you know, let let these people do their thing, please, please. So, so, so yeah, that's my thoughts. That's what I want to see out of Planet of the Apes four. You guys, let me know your thoughts. Are you guys excited for Planet of the Apes four, or are you just kind of like, hey, we have the trilogy, we don't need any more? Uh, I personally want to see more, but at the same time. I'm scared of what they might do, so I'm just cool with the trilogy that we have. Um, so I'm kind of in that mix of like, I want to see it, but I'm also scared. So, um, so, but you guys let me know your thoughts. And um, yeah, so that's it for this video, guys. I I plan to do more first impressions right in the future. Now that we're out of quarantine and everything, so look out for more and more topic videos like this. So, but you guys let me know and. Until then, whatever that may be, uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. Be safe out there. I know the COVID cases are kind of spiking a little bit, so I hope you guys are being safe. Make some smart choices. And until then, I hope you're all having a good summer, and I'll catch you guys next time.